I read too many stories. No, this was real! Well, howdy y'all, and welcome to the Dark Crystal Conjunction. I'm your host, as always, Jason Elgato. I wanted to talk about this new book that came out just March 17th, 2020. It's called The Dark Crystal Age Resistance Dream Sinking Quizzes, Trivia, and Adventure. It is a hardback, as you can see. Nice little book from Penguin Readers. This is going to be kind of my unboxing, quick review, uh, and kind of walkthrough review. So the book describes well what it is. Where do you belong in the world of Thra? Are you an energetic fizz gig, bouncing through life with boundless energy? A peaceful and philosophical mystic questioning life around you. A guffling in tune with nature and the beauty of the natural world. Adventure into Thra with quizzes to find your fantasy counterpart. An interactive choose your own journey story and trivia about the characters in this extraordinary world. It is $9.99 US dollars. And there you go. It's not too big. It's about 72 pages. Well, it is 72 pages. As you can see. Now, the paper on this is not quite... So this is another Penguin Reader, but if you have some of their other books, typically they come in a lot glossier, except for like the book, like the novel type stuff. This is more of that kind of paper, but it's still printed beautifully, full bleed pages. Um, they use a lot of the same color scheme as Heroes of Thraws, just for comparison. Actually, I do have that here. So if you've seen my Heroes of Thraw one, so it's a little bigger. These are both smaller books though. You can see there. This is, this does have a, look at that nice glossy, very bright, very vibrant. This one also has, um, yeah, it's just like these, these glossier paper, it's thicker cardstock and nicer to, to read through. This one, I feel like they could have made it a pamphlet, like a little, because some of this is one-time read stuff. It's an adventure book, uh, which I'm excited about. So let's take a quick peek through it. All right. So let's see this. There is a lot of the photos just from Shutterstock. Outside of that, there's not any original art or anything like that. It all comes from the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. Here's your table of contents. You can see everything you have. Find your Guffling Path. And then there's some quizzes. What species of Thra are you most like? Answer key, you know, are you more like a mystic or Skeksis? How well do you know the Skeksis and mystic quiz? So it's a lot of little one page, couple page quizzes. Some of them are pretty fun. It's similar to something you might find online, like, hey, find out what Hogwarts house you belong to, or um, what might you be in Star Wars, what kind of creature, things like that. I really, I was surprised how it starts off with the intro. And you can actually find a lot of these intro pages online on the Amazon preview. I'll put a little clip of, of all these. What they wind up doing, it's, it kind of starts off as a choose your own adventure. Find the path to your Gelfling clan. You are a young Gelfling, leaving home for the first time. You pack your meager belongings and say goodbye to your friends. And then you wound up running into like, oh, uh, I'm not sure what clan I belong and you kind of, I guess, forget. So you kind of have to decide um, where, where are you going to go, you know? To your right, the plains are furrow and gentle slopes. Somewhere beyond them, the crystal desert and silver sea. Both are known to be dangerous places where only the most resourceful and intuitive Gelfling can survive. And then you decide which place you go. And just like any choose your own adventure, you go to one or two. And that's not paid one or two, but it's the top part, one or two. So depending on where you go, you know, like a choose your own adventure, gives you different options, you know, tells you a little little story, what you see, and then you go deeper into the woods, or then you go to three, or do you go to the mountains, you go to four, so forth and so on. And if you chose to the desert path, then, okay, well, do you go into the desert, so further towards that, or do you follow the moons to the sea? And if you're familiar with the clans, you can kind of be like, okay, this is going to take me to Doosan, going to the desert. This is going to take me to Sifa, going to the sea, probably. The mountains? Well, if it's mountains of Harar, you know, then I guess we're going to be Vaparin, wood, stonewood, things like that. You can kind of deduce those things, but it's still a fun journey and a fun read through. Uh, great, vivid descriptions. You know, nice, nice screen caps they got from, well, I don't know if it's screen caps or, uh, yeah, I guess it is screen caps, but there you go. So. Lots of Freudian artwork. You know, they, they fill the page up with everything, so it's very entertaining. I love seeing this stuff on print. 
So this is pretty cool. This is from the 1982 film. So, uh, yeah. That's what this first part is. And eventually, you keep going. There's a lot to do. And then once you arrive at a destination, I think it actually continues here. Like, you go to the desert, blah, 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 blah. If you did this, then, you know, finally you go to page 14 or page 20. And when you arrive at that, then that reveals what clan you're in. So, if you're already very familiar with the world of the Dark Crystal, you can kind of deduce where you're going to wind up. Brighton, Stonewood. When you start reading the story, it's still very fun. I like how it gives a little decent clan characteristics. It does give you um, some really good history on it. And uh, I was actually surprised how much information this had. I thought it was going to be more like, here's a coloring page, and here's a quiz, and here's a... You know, the circle find the word type thing. This this was actually fuller than I thought. I knew it was going to be for kids. I knew that's what it was aimed for, which is always exciting. I love seeing books going to different age groups because not every book can be a deep dive lore book. That's something I'm going to love, you know. And then that's not to say I don't like this. You know, I'm not the direct audience for this, but I am excited to see it. I've had more fun thumbing through it than I thought. You know, so it's got the little quizzes, you know. Which species of Thra are you most like? Thra is a place of wonder, populated by innumerable creatures. Some live peaceably with one another, so forth and so on. Which of these iconic creatures of Thra do you see? So would you rather... And then it has, it has these throughout it. So, so it's an, it is an activity book. That's what it says it is. So long car ride or kids stuck at home um, and need some entertainment. And you want to keep, you know, showing them the wonderful world of Thra. You know, it has some nice fun. Would you rather eat a live crawly or a roasted nebri? You know, fun dinner time discussions. Why not? Uh, and so, yeah, there's all the questions. When I have a day off, I prefer to, you know, you answer A, B, C, or D. Same thing with second one. And some of these are more generic type questions. Like, there's nothing specifically thraw ish about this. But what it does give you when you when you pick all these answers, like if you wind up picking mostly from B. It says, so like here, if you answered mostly A, you're most like a Skeksis or a Mystic. <laughs> you're either one of those. And it's like, oh, so which one are you? We'll go to this quiz and find out. So it's something to very, you know, very much keep your little readers busy. Again, lots of great vibrant artwork. I, I really do wish the pages were glossy. This, this kind of paper is just weird in this format. E either that or don't make it a hardcover make it more like an activity book you know the kind of magazine style cover so if you answered C most correctly you're Podling or you're most like Agra um, Agra can't even control herself so maybe you need to go see a psych just kidding uh, so are you more like a mystic or a Skeksis again it has has those quizzes and very generic stuff it asks you know when I go to the when I go grocery shopping I typically buy whatever I'm hungry for make a list beforehand and stick to it so it's getting into like, you're in control of yourself, you're impulsive, things like that. I prefer coffee or tea, um, things like that. So you're a Skeksis, you're a mystic. So fun little activity stuff um, that typically nowadays we see as Facebook quizzes or you know little site quizzes and whatnot. So how well do you know the Skeksis and mystics? So this gets into, you know, again, a lot of good little history, you know, definitely on a kid appropriate level. And uh, so I'm always excited to see the lore stuff put in, you know, sum it up in two paragraphs. You know, that's really good. Like, listen to this, you know. Despite their current state, the Skeksis were not always cruel and merciless. Some were gregarious and outgoing. Ooh, gregarious, you know, very good, like, that's a uh, scientist type word that, you know, your kid might have to ask you about and look up. While others prefer to keep their secrets in solitude, but time and power corrupted the hearts and minds of the Skeksis lords, turning their intelligence to suspicion and their ambition into bloodthirsty competition. After the separation, the mystics scattered themselves across Thra, rarely gathering in one place. They became hermits and wanderers, absorbing what wisdom they could from the world, then returning it to the many creatures, including the Gelfling they encountered. Now they are rarely seen, nothing but myths to even the Skeksis with whom they are intertwined. Ah, oh, so good, so good. I, I love just the little, just those little snippets, you know, that's really fun. And so, little quizzes. Which mystic helped Agra remember the Song of Thra? You know, pick your choice. And after you answer some of these, again, has a lot of would you rather just for fun discussion type stuff. Yeah, um, this is a good a good quiz. And 
And probably for most kids in general, if they've seen it one time, like I bet if I give my kids this quiz, they might get half of it or less right. You know, they don't watch all the videos I make, especially the longer ones are like, oh, okay, moving on. Just kidding. They like the more storytelling ones. You know, they don't read the reviews because we have the books here. They can just look through them. But uh, here it gives you the answer. So I'll go quickly through those so you can take that quiz yourself. This one, what golfing occupation suits you best? So this is similar to, you know, um, I, I wish all of these were more like the choose your adventure. I think that'd be more fun. I, I was really surprised by that. It, that was a lot cuter than I thought, but here it just gives you your leader, your protector, blah, blah, blah. So it's, it'd be fun to go through this and then, you know, take a picture, tweet it out like, oh, I'm a protector, Skeksy, the Stonewood clan, <laughs> no, no, all, all the things that matched up for you. What Thrawk critters are you most like? Okay, it's a lot of little little quizzes thing. Or would you rather share your house with one Skeksis or 100 Podlings? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> this actually would have been, if, if I would have had this book when I was doing it, the live streaming with the video game stuff, you know, when I'm streaming for hours at times, this would have been fun to just bring out one of these questions and have the discussion with the chat. So uh, this book does do what it says it does. You know, I've seen some people not very happy with this book, like, ah, oh, it's just childish, it's not. Well, it was marketed that way, so the marketing was correct. It says it was quizzes and little fun things. Uh, again, one thing I really did like is that we got some more kind of poddling language, like some more like, oh, this is what that means in poddling and whatnot. So testing your poddling language skills is tough. So um, that will probably be the toughest quiz, I think, for most people. So think you're fluent in poddling. Now's the time to test your skills. Well, I don't think I am, and I wish they would release all the um, the poddling grammar that J.M. Lee wrote, but maybe for another day. This is pretty cool. Uh, what is your golfing star sign? This, this is like, you know, your astrological sign, things like that, but it's just got fun little, you know, yes, but Agra's eye. If it's January 3rd through the 12th, and then it gives a description of that. These born under the stars of Yesmit, Agra's eye, are known to be both intuitive and pragmatic. They may often see things others can't because of their wide open third eye. You know, so it does tie in some stuff with Thra, you know, going down here. Like, Yesmit will find relationship success with Tra's and Iola's. Uh, these are other descriptions. So, EOP, the Fizz Gig, Uber, the Holler Bat, or Auber, Ar Armigo, the Unamoth Chrysalis. Very cool. Tra, the Triangle or Furka. This is probably when most song tellers were born. <laughs> so good. Ooh, good question. Would you rather be able to fly like Brea or breathe underwater like Naya? That's really interesting because you don't see this in the in the show. So this is pulling from the books. Um, that's a fun discussion question. I love it. Would you rather become wise? or become more powerful. Yeah. So she, Yoli, the stone, the rope weaver. So, you know, very fitting for Thra. I, lo I love that. Would you rather listen to someone else tell a song or tell your own to others? The song's very important in... <laughs> the spoon Hup was born in Suko, obviously. Rijo, the river, like the winding black river. So it's just it's just a fun way to connect it to Thrawn. I think they did a good job with that. I wish some of the quizzes had more of that. You know, that'd probably be my only complaint about it. But outside of that, it is fun, and the answers do get you into Thrawn stuff. You're a Skeksis, you're a protector, you would be a Almadra because of blah, blah, blah. Speaking of that, which Almadra would you most be like? There's that quiz, and it gives you all the descriptions of that, so. Very cool. Of course, it only talks about the three three different Madras, kind of the main ones you see in the show. Uh, well, not her. <laughs> it's funny they have a picture, though. This is uh, Madra Mayrin, Farah, and the one they discuss is Argot, but that's the Dusan Madra. So, all right. I think that, yeah, Madra Farah, Madra Argot. Yeah, Madra Argot is the one from the Groton clan. So I don't know if that picture was a mistake or there's random pictures. So there you go. Here's more. You know, what kind of Gelfling magic do you have? This is a really cool little thing that the books get more into the different types of liaya that the Gelfling have. You know, and it answers it here. You're a dream faster, a far dreamer, a dream stitcher. You're a healer. Very cool. So, so that's it. You know, nice little 72 page booklet. You know, if you're, so definitely keep kids entertained for hours, I think, 
and it's something you can go back and discuss with friends and bring up so it serves its purpose it is what it is it's a nice format this will look good on the bookshelf um it would, i have to say this is actually better than i thought it does have a little there you can see gloss finish on that cover rather nice so there's my review i think it does what it says it does it's quizzes trivia and adventure it's meant for kids but of course a lot of dark crystal fans are probably kids at heart so i think you'll find fun with it uh, if you're looking for something more lore heavy or story intensive you're not going to find that here um but again this serves its purpose so with that i'll let you all go i'll keep trying to make some videos these have been really busy for me but i'll try to put out things like this let me know in the comments what you want to see until next time keep exploring thraw